going to show you how to do uh, cam milling, 3D printing, laser cutting, and such inside of Onshape using a program called Kirimoto. So when you're inside of Onshape, you go to the App Store up here, and uh, from there, type in Kiri. You'll see it's an integrated cloud, cloud app. Um, click Subscribe. It's uh, free to use, open source, and all that. Um, doesn't use collect any information from, from you other than uh, the ability to move parts um, into tabs for editing inside of uh, Onshape. So once you've installed that or subscribed to it, you'll have to um, reload the page. If this doesn't show up automatically, just reload it. Otherwise, you can then uh, install the Kirimoto uh, app by using it the first time. You just have to authorize it. This only happens once. Um, once you've done that, it's a tab inside of Onshape. You can import parts. Um, by default, when you open the tab, it brings you the um, import dialog. But if you don't see that, you can always go to Files Import to pull in a part. Um, this is in cam mode, uh, so you'll see the part comes in with uh, some stock already set. We can rotate that. Um, and now we can sort of go to town on playing with this thing. So there are some default settings in cam mode, in Kirimoto, roughing, outlining, contouring. Uh, these are the types of things that um, are beyond the explanation of uh, sort of the simple intro video. This is just to show you that it's easy to come into Kirimoto um, and start to, uh, to play around. This is an animation. Uh, set up where you can actually do tooling animations and so you can see the part being cut. Um, so this is just one of the features of Kirimoto. Um, another feature of Kirimoto is to go into like a, a 3D printing mode. So we can, we can 3D print this thing, uh, for example. There's some default settings for that. Um, this is a, a very interesting and super useful application. Um, it uh, has modes for um, SLA printing, laser cutting, uh, a salient uh, setting inside of Onshape is uh, the preferences, where ha uh, Onshape has its own little set of preferences here for uh, mouse angle of cord. This uh, controls the sort of faceting of a part coming in, um, how fine or detailed it is, and then mouse preferences so we can match the uh, Onshape mouse preferences by default inside of Kirimoto. Um, there'll be future videos to explore the other uh, capabilities of Kirimoto, but this is just to show you how to get it going inside of Onshape. So I hope you find this useful and uh, feedback, comments, subscribe, like below, and I uh, look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks.